Welcome back. Well, as I mentioned, we have Jeff Parker here who's going to give us some updates. Welcome. Thanks for joining us on well, a Wednesday. I hope you had a happy Memorial Day. You too. Uh, it's great, great to be back. Great to be back, but it was nice to have those three days, huh? <laughs> it, was, it, it was enjoyable to relax a little bit. Um, right. And I hope everybody had a safe Memorial Day. Yep, yep, you too. All right, so what do you got for us? Well, we got some numbers to begin with. Um, for the county, they released, this is yesterday's numbers, but we had 110 cases reported, which is pretty good as far as keeping within the guidelines that they've, they've tried to establish for mm -hmm. um, the health and safety perspectives for the state. Right. The um, average testing is meeting the numbers that they wanted to meet for the state. Great. They're averaging uh, more than 2,000 tests a day for the last seven days, so that's really good. Good. Um, the only negative that came out as of yesterday, we hit our highest, unfortunately, our highest numbers on hospitalizations and ICUs. Yeah. But again, that's kind of now that they have more testing and more people are being knowledgeable about it, more people are going to the hospital kind of expected, although they want to see that curve obviously drop um, in the next 14 days. They want right. to see fewer and fewer in the hospital, obviously. Right. But the good news is the, the rate of people in the hospital versus the amount of beds that they have in Orange County is a very low percentage. And so that's really the hub of everything that's been behind the COVID-19 approach from County Health is they want to make sure that they have enough capacity in their bed system and their ICUs to handle the individuals that are that sick. Well, exactly, as well as being able to take other people who may be suffering from heart attacks or strokes or exactly. any other type of ailment. So the good news is the hospital um, practice right now is in really good shape as far as Great. protecting our residents for everything. Fantastic, perfect. And for Laguna Woods, we did have one uptick. So oh. unfortunately, we're at nine cases in, okay. in Laguna Woods. Right. Um, again, not too surprising, but just an awesome job by our community. That's still one of the lowest, um, based on population and percentages, mm -hmm. one of the lowest categories in all of Orange County. Yeah, in fact, I think I mentioned last time that that number of eight we had for 36 days. So let's keep nine for another 36, because that, be that would be perfect. That would know? be great. Good. All right, well, good. Well, thank you very much for the information. Uh, and as we mentioned, you can always go to ochealthinfo.com, and you can see the same numbers that we're looking at uh, by just going to that website. And you can do it even farther if you want, where you can do it by, um, you know, uh, age and different types of... Uh, and I think that's important, because I think when, when you look at the critical element of our population here in the village, looking at some of those pie charts that show who's been affected the most right. um, is in that age group that, w that we are here at the village. Right. Um, anybody 55 and over are the most susceptible to this and certainly the death impacts, if you look at that chart, yeah. it's really kind of scary that 74% over 65 and 86% of the people over 55. So yeah. that's a really big number in yes. comparison to all of the numbers of people who've gotten it. Right. So the impact is severe. Right. But then, of course, you have to remember that, I mean, as you're mentioning, uh, you have to be careful because you don't want to get too frightened, right? I mean, you just have to practice what we've been talking about. Make sure you do that. But comorbidities is really the biggest issue, is that if you've got pre-existing conditions of the ones that they mentioned, like yeah. diabetes right. and a variety of other things, then you do, you do stand the chance of getting it easier than somebody who does not have And the things. impact could be greater. So yeah. that's why being in touch with your doctor as soon as you have symptoms, because exactly. the sooner they can test you and the sooner they understand that, the better the treatment can be. Right. And you know, talking about testing, there's a variety of new things that have come out where there's some free testing and there's also testing you can get through your doctor and other places. Right. right. Um, so the county, I think, in expanding their testing capabilities and continue to working on that, have actually opened up um, four sites, uh, five sites, excuse me, um, Buena Park, Orange, Santa Ana, San Juan Capistrano, that is four, I'm sorry, um, Monday through Friday um, from 8 a.m. to 12 and then from 1 to 8 p.m. These again are places you can drive to and get tested. Okay. Um, so this is kind of a big expansion for them, so it's really nice. Yeah. It's still appointment only, um, so you have to get your appointment, but these are locations you can go to besides going to a hospital or going to your medical office. Do you know what kind of locations they are? It doesn't um, say? I know they're working with, they were working with CVS, oh, um, but, okay. uh, but I don't I know I if they're actually that. at CVS locations. Okay.
But nonetheless, you have to have an appointment, as it mentions on the website here. And then there's a website yes. that is on this site. Uh, and you can definitely just click on that. And it'll take you right to where the locations are. And I suppose you can pick the location yes. that and, serves and, you best, right? And, and Orange County um, Health has a number of locations besides those ones I just mentioned. Oh, yes. Those are new ones that they just opened up. So okay. again, trying to expand their capacity to get more and more people tested, which is a great thing. Okay. And I think the one thing that the health department was telling us, because uh, we had interviewed them a little while ago, is make sure you still go through your doctor, because that is right. a really important thing, is go through your doctor first, and if there's any particular reason why you can't get it through your doctor, then you can go to one of these sites without any issues, right? And when you go to these sites, they will bill back your insurance, and right. if you don't have insurance, the state of California at this point in time is picking up the cost of having that testing done. That's drug. great. And these are, these are not antibody tests, just to be clear, these are only to see if you have COVID-19. The antibodies are coming. That test is coming, right? right. I, I mean, I feel like I know so much about it because we've been talking <clears throat> to so many doctors about it that you have to really understand the difference because so many people, oh, well, you know, I, I've had it already. I'm going to go get that test. I'm like, no, 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 don't go get that. You can't have that test yet. No, so, you're absolutely correct on that yeah. one. Okay, good. Uh, so that's really important information. I mean, we're showing you the site right now where you can see all, I mean, there's tons of sites. So there shouldn't be an issue of you finding a site that can definitely fit your needs. So thank goodness we now have so many choices because it took some time. It's great because people may have been hesitant about going out and getting tested right. too that had or showing some symptoms. Now they can call their provider and their provider can just say, yes, you need an appointment, go get it, and they can go get it right. really quickly. Right, perfect. Okay, great, great. Uh, anything else on COVID-19 or are we... No, I think we're good on COVID-19. Okay, we, good. Um, we, we are up to date on COVID-19 <laughs> now. Okay, perfect. Now, let's talk about some of the openings that we had this last week. How are things going? So two things occurred that were important for us. One, the Orange County got approved by the state of California to go into the second, I'll call stage B of phase two, okay. which means that they can look at um, op restaurants operating in dining, okay. um, businesses in they're in their places of location. So shopping malls can look at starting to open. Restaurants can have, as long as they have social distancing and requirements set up, they could start to have people in their right. restaurants again. Um, a, a big step for Orange County. Oh, yeah. and, and obviously, because we have a lot of tourism here and we have a lot of people that enjoy the outdoors, um, I think that's a really big step in getting our economy going back again. So that's mm -hmm. really good. And that, that occurred Saturday. Some people were trying to get open, obviously, for the Memorial Day weekend. That's right. I know a lot of restaurants and businesses are gearing up this week to start this next mm -hmm. weekend. All, it's all good. So if you have a favorite restaurant or there's a place you want to go, contact them. See Call if they're first, set yeah. up. Mm -hmm. Here at, um, at the 19th, we're, we're working to set the protocol and get that set up so if he wants to open up and sit in the patio area that we can accommodate that. Yeah. We just have to make sure that the protocols are set up and we can be safe. Yeah. Once that happens, then we can expand that business there too, which will be great. Excellent. Excellent. And then, and then uh, exciting on the outside activities, and we mentioned it, it was coming, is today's the first day of pickleball um, okay. and paddle tennis. Started the reservation process yesterday, mm -hmm. so we get that open today. Um, again, be careful out there. Really warm weather oh, um, it is that we're hot today, yeah. facing, so don't want anybody to overexert themselves that first day back. We're all excited. Right. It's, it's great to have you back out there in the pickleball court, paddle tennis, but mm -hmm. be safe um, as you're doing it. Well, especially if you're wearing a mask. We were just talking about masks, where if you're exercising, it's tough. Could you hold up your mask? Because I think it's sure. really cool. You can, if you are a big exercise person, you want to wear a mask. This thing is cool. It's got two sides for ventilation. Um, that's pretty neat. Yeah, it's, it is. Is that just an online thing? It, it is online. It is Great. designed for those that, like people that ride bicycles, uh, road biking, um, people that run. You get a little bit more um, ventilation okay. through there, oxygen Good. through there. So um, it makes it a little bit easier to use that activity while you're Good. still wearing a mask out there. And I wanted to talk about the mask issue. Um, Orange County certainly wants you to be wearing a mask when you go outside. We've had some people call us and say, well, we don't want to and don't do it. Again, the importance of wearing a mask is to protect yourself, but as important, protecting others. Right. So 
Uh, be conscious of that when you go out there that you're protecting others if you're wearing a mask as well. Perfect. Well, we've been trying to tell everybody as much as possible about why there is an importance of wearing a mask, so spot on. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, and we're going to see you again Friday, right? Yep, hope Maybe so. with some more information about, uh, I don't know, COVID, I'm sure, as well as what's happening in our community. Absolutely. All right, thank, thank you. Thank you, Lisa. You're welcome. And as we mentioned, regarding the restaurants, make sure you call the restaurant ahead of time because, boy, do those parameters vary from restaurant to restaurant. We'll be right back.